Hey guys, today I'm going to be making a hot chocolate mix recipe. This is a recipe for instant hot chocolate for um, whenever you want it, but you don't have to go buy the little pouches. So I'm going to link the recipe down below. I got it from hopefully.com and I'm going to tell you what you need. You need two cups of powdered sugar. Two cups of dried milk, whole is preferred, but non-fat works. One and a quarter cups of unsweetened cocoa powder. They prefer Dutch processed. I don't have that. One quarter teaspoon of fine sea salt. And one cup of mini chocolate chips. And there, on the website, there's instructions on how to make it vegan or dairy-free, if you can't have dairy, using dried coconut milk and chocolate chips that are dairy-free. So... There's a bunch of little tips. So what you need is like, you can use three of these, or you can use, you don't have to have wide mouth. Or what I'm gonna do is have a quart and a pint because that's the way I'm gonna do it. I'm not giving it as a gift, but what you could do if you wanna give it as a gift is put it in a mason jar and put a cute bow on it and give it away with the instructions on how to make it. So I'm going to get the camera turned down here and we're going to get started. It's super easy and it's going to be a super fast video. Okay, so I have everything, hopefully everything here, and I've got my batter bowl and I'm using it because it has a spout and I think that might be easier. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the powdered sugar and there are some different um, variations that you can do. You can do um, caramel chips. If you want it to have like a chocolate and caramel, you can use, um, what is it called? What does it say? Peanut butter chips, it said. There were different ones. You can use vanilla powder in it, espresso powder, mint chips, or cinnamon chips because you, you know, well, I, I can't remember if I've ever done my cinnamon um, scones with you guys. I can't remember if I have or not, but, oh, I'm touching the, this dish, this washing machine. I made it vent, so it's going to do that a few times. Anyways, um, I have used cinnamon chips for that before. So I'm going to put in, that's the two cups of milk. I was supposed to do the sugar first, but honestly, it really doesn't matter. Two cups of the confectioner sugar, because this will melt fast. And it also says that you can um, do this with water or with, um, what is it called? with milk. If you want it creamier, you do it with milk whenever you make it. So here's the cocoa powder. Make sure I get the right amount. That's one and one quarter. That is a quarter cup, yes. So that's in there. And then that was almost all of my chocolate. This is what threw me was the salt, but it's one fourth of a teaspoon of salt, of fine sea salt. And that's what this is, it's natural sea salt. That's what I'm using. But that threw me a little bit. I keep it in the bag because of moisture. And I'm not sure if I have enough chocolate chips here or not, but if I don't, that's fine. I can get the bigger ones out. I do have those. I also have caramel chips, but if I put caramel chips in it, nobody else will drink it except me. So I'm not doing that. So I'm supposed to have one cup of mini chocolate chips. Nope, I'm not gonna have enough. I have, well it's almost one cup. It's really close. It's close enough. So now you just mix this together. I'm gonna mix it with this measuring spoon and then you just put it in your jar or your jars I maybe should get something else to mix it with 
let me see if I'm doing this right. All right, so you combine it and then you transfer it to an airtight container and this will keep for six months. So the way you make it is you take one half cup of this into three fourths cup of hot water or milk and you just stir it up and you add your um, marshmallows or whatever that you want to add to it and you have hot chocolate and this is a great gift for Christmas or to have a lot of well it's supposed to make 12 cups to make a lot of hot chocolate for a party or something this is a great way to do it so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here now one thing that I have done with my hot cocoa mix is put a little bit in my coffee instead of ooh, don't do that instead of creamer and it's like a mocha coffee all right put that in there put a lid on it now i'm going to put the rest of it into this one oh goodness i'm making a mess now but i've got my chocolate chips in there here, let me do it like this. I think it might be better because it's getting to where it's not a lot in here. Because I don't want to make any bigger mess than I already have. If I could, well, if I could help it, I wouldn't. Come out, please. So, I probably could have put less in that one, but it's okay. Now I have hot chocolate mix whenever I want it. And like I said, I like to put mine in my coffee. And it's really good. So I'm not going to have any right now. But um, you just mix one half cup of this into three-fourths cup of hot water or milk. Stir it up and drink it. Now, a hot milk. Hot milk or hot water. Now, another thing it says, to package for gifting, pour the mix into ball canning jars, 16 ounce jars. Print out the gifting tags, which if you go to their website, which I will link, they have them there for you, and tie onto the jar with a ribbon, string, or raffia. This recipe makes enough for three pint-sized jars, and that's what it looks like. It's really cute. Okay, and then it says, it works fine. Water works fine with this for this, but to make it even creamier, mug of hot cocoa, use hot milk. An immersion blender or frother can help make a really frothy mug of hot chocolate. To make this vegan, swap out the dried milk for dried coconut milk or make sure you grab chocolate chips that are dairy free. Regular cocoa powder works here, but in our test, we preferred the flavor of making it with Dutch processed cocoa powder. It had a richer flavor, darker color, and less of the acidic bite that can sometimes come with, from cocoa powder. And optional but delicious add-ins. I told you about the vanilla powder, espresso powder, mint, chips, and the cinnamon. So it makes 12 servings and one cup is, or three-fourths of a cup is a serving. So like I said, I'll leave it down below. I think it'll be really good. It's a lot better than the store-bought packets. And it'd be a great gift. Just think if you made up a bunch of this and gave it as Christmas gifts for people that like hot chocolate. I think it'd be a good thing. So that is all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell so be notified whenever I upload. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet.